What? What, dude? What? What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Guys, today, before we get into the video, I just want to take a second to, from the bottom of my freaking heart, thank the Hood Toggers crew. Without those guys, we would have never ever been able to afford to get down there and fish Ocean City. In fact, we've been invited multiple times, but year after year, right around the time we get invited, we're either working nonstop or our funds have been completely cut off. Um, and that's pretty much what's going on right now. Uh, we're down to just working a couple days at Crafty. So we need to figure some stuff out. I'm gonna be trying to crank out some content as well, just because I have a lot more free time right now but again huge thank you to the crew of the hood toggers you guys are freaking amazing thank you for getting me down there getting me on this trip for one and for two the hoodie you guys got for me is absolutely amazing i wear it all the freaking time and it is probably the most comfortable hoodie i've ever had uh of course you guys spared no expense getting the sherpa inside you freaking lunatics i love you guys and thank you Another massive thank you to my boy Scotty for coming on the trip with me. And um, guys, we did have a big to-do on our way home. So if you stick around to the end of the video, you're going to hear about what happened and what the future holds for this channel. It's funny how a fishing trip can completely change everything, absolutely everything that's going on in your life. I also want to take a second to thank Chasing Tides. You guys were freaking awesome. Uh, we went out on a day where the wind was absolutely howling out there um, all morning. We actually couldn't even leave the dock until 11 a.m. and Cat and Chase kept us out there until the sun went down. You know, as the day went on, the conditions did get better out there. I do not think they got any better uh, down on the ocean floor. I think things were a little stirred up. It made for a tough day of fishing, but with the crew we had on the boat, we had an absolute blast. Now, I do want to apologize to everyone that was in this video uh, and to all of you watching this video. Normally, when we fish and we don't mate, it's really hard for me to get everybody's catches. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but when I'm not mating, it, I'm not running around netting things. People are in the way. The angles aren't there. A lot of the times, I don't even include the catches because when I'm scrubbing through, I don't even see them. And if you don't see them, what's the point of putting them on the video, right? So because of that, I prepared for this trip. Scotty has the exact same GoPro that we have with the media mod all the good stuff ready to go an excellent micro like the whole thing was just perfect and so i took scotty's camera set it up on the boat to get everybody in view we have a bunch of killer catches that we got on scotty's camera but about an hour into the trip cat put on the radio and put on some music which i love music everybody loves music and almost every single time somebody puts on music uh, while I'm filming, I asked them not to. And for some reason, I didn't ask Captain Chase to turn the radio down. So all of the footage, I'm talking every everything except for maybe the first couple catches that I got on Scott's camera came out obnoxiously loud with the radio. So it's basically just really loud music or really loud serious sports radio. A 26-yard Justin Tucker field goal has tied this game at which would totally get this channel demonetized if we included most of these catches and even on my camera that I had on my chest uh, a lot of it you can hear it's not as loud, of course. Um, Scotty's camera was right next to the cabin, and it was just blaring into it the whole time, and that's literally all you can hear, so I really just can't include any of that footage, which really stinks, and I feel terrible to all the guys on the crew, especially Nas. I really, I really feel bad for him, because he freaking slammed a bunch of good fish, and, uh, I mean, I obviously, you'll be able to see I got 
a good amount of the catches, but definitely not even close to all of them. That kid was slaying, and I feel bad. It's all just covered in music and serious radio. So that's my fault. Um, I should have asked Cap nicely to um, either turn the radio down pretty low or turn it off for us while we were filming and explained uh, how YouTube works because (sighs) this morning was really tough on my on my brain I didn't even know what to do it was like one of those moments where I sit down to film and like go to put up the best catch and like none of it's even there which has happened like that kind of stuff happens you know like glitches happen on the GoPros dumb things happen but the thing about this one that happened is I could have it could have been avoided if I just spoke up um so I'm really sorry guys this won't happen again And if we go on Chase's boat again, I'm sure he will gladly not put on the radio so that we can make an even better video for you guys. So without any further ado, I really do hope you guys enjoy the video that we do have and the insane catch from Vin, Vin the Finn. And uh, make sure you guys stick around until the very end of the episode to see what's going on next with Fish and Grubs. Ocean City, Maryland place where dreams are either made or broken. Today, we had a little bit of both. non-optimal conditions, we headed off to the TOG grounds, hoping for some trophy to TOG, and getting a trophy none of us expected. Good enough? No? Wait, what? All right, then. Didn't want to see your stupid ass here. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I should sit on it. Here. This fence is enough. 
Get up, what the Get fuck? up, Ben! Get up, Ben! That's it, man. Take your time. Take your time. You caught you by surprise, didn't you? I got you. You stood the run out of my hand, dude. You got it, bro. Take your time real. Don't go too fast. Take your time. He's good. That arthritis in your hands acting up again? Yeah, I got to get the brace on. That's good right there. That's good. Hey, I trade you. Sir, you got your cigarette back. I'll take your face. There you go, Ben. That's it. That's a keeper. Go buy some rods, so they won't be open when we get back. What? You might want to get up in the morning, go buy some rods. There you go. Spend our tenant. Okay. Alright, we're going to go to the Nice, pal. Yeah, baby. 100. There you go. You probably got it. I think you got it. Okay. Let's get my shirt. That's sweet. I'll make sure to leave you one. I just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm really stoked. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not into it. I don't like short videos. I hate to say it. It helps though. I know. I just can't do it. Yeah, I can't do short videos. It's really hard for me. I put so much time. I put so much time and effort into my videos that, like, I just don't. Once I once I'm only doing that, I'll do it. Right now. Unless I ass hooked him. Ass hooked. There you go. Fucking sea yeah, bass. Man. Yeah? Oh. Down here. Wild. That's wild. Pretty sure it is. Pretty close. Is it over here? 15? 16? 16. <laughs> but the thing is, you can walk down to the rock off the beach and catch Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. You got something? There you go, Scotty. Z-Bass Keeper. I think that'll keep for you guys. For us, it's short. <laughs> that'll keep though, all day here. Shit, that's cool. Uh, if we went after like 140 foot right now, they'd all be like four or five pounders. Caught you off guard. I saw that. That was funny. Get him, Diddy! Heavy enough. Ooh. Big enough. Uh, it's a spinner. Bag it. Short, short. Oh my god, dude. You saw it. He ain't big. Um, keeper. Yeah. I'm so not used to that. Didn't drive me to that camp. There you go. What's up? Get him out of there. Yeah, hooked funky. Hooked funky. Wow, thanks. Hi, Scott. I want you to get that That's a keeper. Huh? No net? Net.
Decent fish though. Nice fish, Cuba. Never mind. Never mind. Nice fish, dude. Nice, Scott. Is that better? Keeper. Nope, rolled him. Little guy. Who are you using blow too? Yeah. Hey, you got him out for real. He's on the scout. Man, I should be telling you the fish is out of the hole. I mean, it was like I jacked him up too high. He's so small. He came flying up. Got him out of there? Or? Yep. Oh. Yes. Unless it's hooked funny. Yeah, I think it might be, but still. Yes. That's all they're on it. Make it stand in the back. Still on that? No. No. Yep. Whew. They got me all sorts of antsy in my pantsy. They were out punching mailboxes off a post and he punched one and it came back up and hit him in the face and put a hole in the Nice, that's better. Special teams touchdown. Donovan Peoples Jones with the 76 yard punt return for a score. Decent, decent. Yeah, baby, get it, get it. Get it, Scotty. Is that a good one? Keeper. You got people cheering for you and shit, Scott. The background. Fantastic. That's a decent fish. You. That's a beaut. Turn the handle, Randall. Nick. Yeah. That's a net. It's actually, here, I'll take the rod for uh, it. Might, it might be. I hear you. Good, dude. Might just be hooked funny. I gotta just watch the stand on the water. What are you doing? You want that or no? Is someone's line? Yeah. Get the fish off. Oh, I got you. He hates me. Thank you.
Thanks, Here I come, here I come, here I come. There you go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh my god, get that fish. Are you on the bottom? Or is that a fish? Woo! You had me going. You got it? It came out. Small. Much smaller than we thought. <laughs> oh boy. I was goofing all for not fucking. What's going on here? You sure, right? <laughs> It did look really good because he was in something. Get it, Scotty. Get it. You know what, Scott? I mean, you're shit. You mother. I hate you so much. Nice fish, Scotty. Nice. Scotty, point the rod tip the other way. <laughs> I know. Nah. Right? It's close, but who cares? You can check if you want. It might be small. A little small. That's the one. Good, right? Maybe. The Lions are in the red zone, so let's go. Can't catch him out. Check him out. Mother. Scott, get away from me. Steal my fish. <laughs> oh, no, it's on there. He's sitting on it. Where's mine? I got my drag set like not like crazy, but pretty tight. Like nothing's gonna peel drag unless it's a really good fish. Yeah. Oh, I you just lost. No. I got it. Well, they were backed up to the wrong line, so they decided to try to quarterback speed it out of the goal line. Get it, Ben. Ooh, that's one. Benny, get him. Oh, that's a real one, Benny. Take your time. Oh, no, I'm with him. I'm with him. He's with me. Just give him slack. Yeah, yeah, I'm already, I'm wide open. No, not you, not you. <laughs> he's doing fine. It's coming. Nice and slow. This is the one. Yeah, Vinny. I moved just about 75 feet on the bridge. Yeah, guess what we got? Woo! What? What, dude? What? It looked 
Look at Vinny's face. Look at his face. Look at his face. What is that, Vinny? You may have a state record. Nah, no. Our state record is huge. Our state record is like 18 pounds. That is probably the biggest you said I've ever caught. Like 14? 12, 13? No. I think they're really close to the top. That's such a cool fish, Vinny. We got to get some good pictures of that, bud. Yeah. So you're done with that, we're going to put them straight in there. Nice, dude. Look at that thing. That's a stud. Six more, six, six hundred. That's awesome. Yeah, dude. If I have my pet. What do you got, Cuba? Yeah, that nice one. Nice like seven, six, seven pounds right out of nowhere. Nice spot. Nice, dude. I'm just trying to find. I had a. Uh, there you go, ball. baby. So I can move the 27, 26, 27 inches. Let me get a good picture of it. <laughs> Another keeper, bud. Yeah, maybe a little shy. Touch shot. Huh? Dingleberry side up. I was asleep. Yeah, yeah. I was in the back in the bed, yeah, sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Scotty was driving. Yeah. He went off the road. Oh. Ba, 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 ba. I woke up and was screaming. Oh, Just God. screaming. The oh, hazards? Not good. Not good, Scotty. <laughs> Not good, bud. <laughs> it's because you had no mirror. Uh, yeah, you suck. <laughs> well, uh, folks, yeah, it's only been a couple months, and uh, this time it wasn't my fault. In fact, Scotty himself has never even been in a car accident, so I don't know if I just had bad juju or if that van had bad juju or what the heck's going on. Uh, you know, if you didn't know, that van was giving us a ton of trouble. We had still just so much work to do with that van to even get it to a point where, you know, we felt good building onto it. And you know, for as long as I can remember, my dream has been to be able to just be free. You know, get land, build my own house, be able to just drive around the country. Um, and you know, those dreams are slowly becoming reality. But with the purchase of that minivan, it kind of crushed the dreams for me. Um, and that's happened a couple times along this journey to get a vehicle that we could, you know, transform into a mobile home, if you will. Uh, a stealth camper, if you will. It's weird how things happen, and I'm super thankful that Scotty and I are still here. As we were driving back, I took the first four and a half hours and drove us all the way from Ocean City, Maryland through New York City to the very first major rest stop in Connecticut. Um, it was there that Scotty was like, you want me to take over? And I just had a Red Bull. I was totally still good to drive. And um, you know, with only two hours left of the trip, I said, why not? 
take over Scott, uh, and I'm gonna get some rest. So I jumped in the bed that I had put in the back of the van when uh, Mr. Ryan Rigged was around in town, and I passed out. And I gotta tell you, there I've never in my life, and probably never will in my life, wake up as scared as I woke up. Um, <laughs> it was really scary because I couldn't see anything. Like from Scotty's point of view, it was probably really scary as well, but he could see everything as soon as uh, his eyes opened up. Whereas for me, I uh, was fully asleep and got woken up out of bed to like insane noises, lots of crashing sounds. And I thought my life was pretty much over. Um, so basically what happened was it was almost midnight. We had been grinding pretty hard. We were almost home and uh, Scotty dozed off at the wheel. It's never happened to him before. Probably it'll never happen to him again uh, because I'm sure he'll be ridiculously safe. He already drives like a grandma, uh, but like he went from one side of the highway to the other and hit the guardrail. And if it had happened in another like 30 seconds or so, there was no guardrail and who knows if Scott and I would be here right now. Everything turned out perfectly fine, uh, except for the van being pretty much totaled. Um, but besides that, Scotty and I didn't have a scratch on us. And, you know, we walked away from it okay. And that's really what matters the most. I know Scotty felt really bad. He let me use his truck for a couple days. And he gave me, he gave me what I put into the van. And uh, he also let me borrow a little extra to get the van of our dreams. So in one of our next videos, you will see the brand new Grubbs Mobile. It is a 1998 Chevy G10 conversion van done by Gladiator. And ladies and gentlemen, we just had it inspected yesterday. This thing is freaking gorgeous and I cannot wait to show it off to you guys. I also can't wait to see what we do to that thing. I think we're gonna have a really good time putting together uh, the fishiest conversion van you've ever seen. So I just wanna say, Scott, from the bottom of my heart, dude, I can't thank you enough. One, for not killing us, and two, for putting us in the place that we've wanted to be over the last few years and having a platform now to build on and create something special that is going to be able to travel the the old us and catch a lot of fish guys if you had fun today please do me a favor hit the subscribe button hit the bell as well we will catch you on the next one fish out well, my father used to tell me this children stopping in africa so eat your food you live in you should be happier so your first world problems darkest third world onyx sounding out with those and ease like you're hooked on phonics blow harmonics mental vomit leaving trails like comments let's be honest this is a sonnet about your lack of being honest with yourself here's some chronic and your feelings is a luxury spoiled california never had a day of hustling don't you worry any longer Help.